What's happening here with uh, Kucheron at South by Southwest, Duck 0027, checking in. We're here with the band, want to hear what they have to say. What do you guys feel about your music and the experience so far at South by Southwest? So, uh, yeah, I'm Sebastian, I'm Kucheron, and this is my drummer Taylor. What did you feel about your first set? I um, yeah, uh, I thought it was great, really. Uh, uh, it felt, up on stage, it was really hot. Up on stage, uh, and additionally, I'm a drummer. So, uh, so uh, yeah, I was sweating a lot and everything, but it turned out great. It always turns out great, so, uh, so we're in it. Yeah. How do you feel about the, the style of your music and how it's uh, impacting how it is being taken in the marketplace today? Um, to be honest, I, I don't pay too much thought to it. I, I, I try and I don't feel any shame in trying to stay contemporary. I'm, I'm very much influenced by everything I hear on the radio and everything, everything that's happening in within the EDM thing. Uh, but still, at the end of the day, it's just like music that I want to music that I want to share. Music about but I mean uh, there's a lot of like pop influences hip hop and even some drum and bass in my latest single barely floating uh which is always a blast to play live because it's kind of unexpected I can tell people's faces and they're like oh shit drum and bass at 1 p.m man it's too early for this by like indie rock acts from the 2000s like Vampire Weekend, Blood Party but that is probably not the route I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue in terms of like uh, progression so I mean I've also always looked up to the, the, the French House guys like Daft Punk, Justice and uh, a bunch of pop punk influences as well I, I listen a lot to Paramore and Fall Out Boy So a lot of my musical influence is definitely from that that era, that sort of music. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't have any particular route that I'm like I'm keen you know, on following. I'm just like. What is the uh, what is the the end result? What you would like to see for the end of this year, as far as your uh, your, your music and your touring? What would you like? How would you like to see your by the end of this year? How how, how you would like to it to be? Uh, and, and, um, and such. Hopefully, just gain more following and been able to share more music. Like I'm I'm putting out singles with like every other month or so throughout the year. So it's gonna it's gonna end up with an, a debut album. 
the beginning of next year, so hopefully tour a lot around that time. All right, and what's your favorite of your songs that you play? Oh, it might be the new single actually, barely floating because it's drum and bass and it's so fun to play drum and bass. Excellent. No idea, it's, it's crazy. And you guys are a great musical matchup team. I don't know. So. Yeah, we listen to all oh, yeah. the same music and uh, when he does his thing with his uh, sense, I often react to it and, and, and vice versa. This is really fun to play with him because he, uh, it's, it's kind of in, he knows what I'm going to do at every then I know what he's gonna do, and then we have this sort of fun musical connection that, uh, that we try to uh, put out to everyone as much as possible. It's pretty recent that Tio joined the live band, yeah. and it's been so much more fun to play ever since. Like, in, terms of, in terms of live things to add, I think drummer is like that one thing that adds the most live feel to it. Excellent. Well, thank you guys so much for coming out and hanging out with us. Thank you so much for coming. Talking to us and uh, wish you all the best in future shows and keep having fun. Alright. Keep winning out of home. Wicked. Thank you for having us. Alright. Keep putting out great music. What? Keep putting out great music. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stuck 27. South by Southwest, thanks so much.